Good morning, RCS. Today is Friday, December 20th, and this is the RCS News. Thank you for joining us for our last news broadcast of the year. You mean the last broadcast of the decade? That's right. When we come back to school on January 2nd, it will be 2020, the start of a new decade. On the RCS News today, we have a sneak peek at a Broadway show headed to the big screen, more birthdays, and some best wishes for the holidays. But first, we bring you the first holiday forecast. It doesn't look like we will be having a white Christmas, but as we officially enter winter on Saturday, it looks like the weather will be warming for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. In sports news, the Eagles host the Cowboys to decide who will win the NFC East and head to the playoffs. The Eagles will play at 425 p.m. Go Birds! And now with a preview of a Broadway show headed to the big screen is our Broadway enthusiast and correspondent Gianna Loria. It's taken Cats nearly 40 years to make it from the stage to the screen, but In the Heights has made the notoriously tricky transition from the Broadway musical to the feature film in less than half that time. Now the first trailer for the movie, which co-stars songwriter Lin-Manuel Miranda, has been released. Lin-Manuel Miranda is the writer of In the Heights and Hamilton the Musical. His debut musical opened on Broadway in March 2008 and had won 13 Tony nominations. The musical set over three days in the largely Hispanic American neighborhood of Washington Heights in New York City centers on a bodega owner who must decide whether or not to give up his store and leave his community behind after inheriting his grandmother's fortune. It's the story of a block that was disappearing, the lead role when Snobby says in the trailer for the film, which deals in part with gen gentrification. The streets are made of music. This idea is given vibrant light via color and large-scale dance numbers. All Although the show opened on Broadway in 2008, the story seems to have been updated for today's political climate. In the Heights may have won the Tony Award for Best Musical, but is now a full-blown movie musical from director John M. Shue. Warner Bros. is positioning In the Heights as one of its major tentpoles for the summer movie season. The film will be the first major musical adaption to hit theaters following the release of Cats this Christmas. Warner Bros. is set to release In the Heights in theaters nationwide June 26, 2020, and I can't wait. Thanks, Gianna. I can't wait to see the, ho the Heights. It looks like the movie may be the best place to be this winter. I hear a small film called Star Wars is being released today as well. Well, we all know that the real reason for this holiday season, the birth of Jesus. Let's see who else will be cel celebrating a birthday this holiday season. So this is the last birthday segment of the year because when we come back it's going to be 2020. But I have four very special Christmas babies. Lexi, when is your birthday? Uh, 22nd. And what are you going to do? I'm going to go to New York. Oh, that's really nice. What are you going to do in New York? I don't know. It's a surprise. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to hear it. You might need to come back on the news. And you were born? On um, the 26th. Yeah, Miss Casey was a definite Christmas baby. And what are you going to do on your birthday? Just stay home. Yeah, probably play with presents, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Andrew, when's your birthday? 17th. His already passed. So what did you do on your birthday? Well, tomorrow I'm going to, I'm going to have um, a birthday party. Oh, where is it going to be? A bowling alley. Oh, are you good at bowling? Yeah. Can you get a lot of strikes? Yeah. I love bowling, but I stink. Well, have a great birthday. And Anne, you are the day before Christmas, which is Christmas Eve, December 24th. What are you going to do on your birthday? I'm going to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese is the best. What's your favorite thing to do there? Play games. Play games. I always love the ball pit. Do they still have a ball pit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some things just never go out of style, and Chuck E. Cheese is it. Well, I wish all of my Christmas babies a very happy birthday, even though you're not babies anymore. Okay? Can everyone say goodbye and Merry Christmas? Bye-bye. Thank you and happy birthday to all. Finally on the news today, we would like to say a prayer for a blessed, safe, and happy Christmas to everyone in our community. May all our family members and friends who need a miracle be blessed. May whoever is feeling unwell and weak be, giving, be given strength. May all of those who have heavy burdens have their, la their load lightened. May your Christmas be one filled with happiness and joy. Have a great day and a wonderful Christmas season and a happy new year.
We will be back after the break in the new year as we enter the new Roaring Twenties. <laughs> 